Hey, I'm so glad to see you today on Daily Hope. Do you ever look at the world and wonder, why are God's people so persecuted or so overlooked or so mistreated? Well, this was the case about 470 years before Christ came to earth in the person of Jesus in the book of Esther. Esther probably occurred about 30 years before Nehemiah, the book that we looked at yesterday. It's an incredible true story drama that I would encourage you to read. If you've never read the book of Esther, um, get a life application study Bible and read it for yourself. In this story, King Xerxes, king of Persia, who's well documented in uh, ancient archaeology, um, has many, many uh, women in his house. And one of them is this young woman named Esther who's Jewish. And he picks her to become the queen of his empire. Now, a queen in a Persian empire didn't actually have a ton of authority. Um, the king could get rid of her at any day, any moment if he wanted to. And so for Esther to intervene when there's a plot to kill all the Jewish people is at great risk to herself. But she does. She chooses to obey God at great risk to herself. And God uses her obedience to spare his people from destruction and also to bring about justice. Uh, it's summarized in Esther 4 verse 14 when Esther's uncle, I believe, Mordecai, is speaking to her and he says this, quote, if you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jewish people will arise from some other place, but you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for such a time as this. Now the point is this, God has ordained our days. The fact that you're alive right now, if you're a student, the school you're in, it's not by accident. Where you live is not by accident. Where you work, who you're related to is all in God's master design. You have a role to play just like Esther. Be willing to step up for God, be willing to step out for his people, and who knows how God might use you. Let's live with the faith of Esther today. I will see you tomorrow for more Daily Hope.